Trent Meissenheimer with the Utah Avalanche Center. I'm up here in Farmington looking at yesterday's tragic avalanche accident. A father and his son went out for a day of snowmobiling. They came up here into this uh, basin. Uh, there are already some tracks on this slope and the 18 year old man decided to climb up the hill on the right side. As he was climbing up, he went around a stand of pine trees and as he was turning out, the avalanche was triggered. It was roughly 200 feet wide, two to four feet deep in size. He was caught and carried in this avalanche. He was able to deploy his airbag backpack, but ultimately he got buried below deeply. The young man was wearing an avalanche transceiver. His dad was out of harm's way just over here in the basin and witnessed the avalanche. He came over to find his son, but he did not have an avalanche transceiver. Moments later, another group came onto the scene. They had avalanche transceivers. They were able to get a beacon signal. Their lowest point was four meters, so it was pretty deep. They pulled out their probes, began probing, and after about 10 tries, they got a probe strike and located them about six to eight feet deep. So I'm standing here on the debris of yesterday's avalanche where an 18 year old young man was caught, buried and killed. He was buried just right over here next to me. What's really hard to realize is that this slope doesn't look like a terrain trap, but in fact it is one because it's a big steep slope that all transitions to a flat valley bottom here. And what happened is the avalanche came down, the debris had nowhere to run. And so therefore the debris just stacked up super deep right here in this flat spot, just as it would in a creek bottom or a gully where all the snow piles in. Even though he was wearing an airbag backpack and it was inflated, it didn't help him because of the terrain trap. And after a lot of effort and a lot of shoveling, moving a ton of snow, they were able to pull him out of the snow and the hole is about 11 feet deep. So a lot of debris stacked up in what doesn't look like a terrain trap, but in fact is one.